<laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, not yeah, because everybody has got only one sponsor. You got, got Riyadh season. Man, you got so many, bro. Damn. They want to pay off and they want to be part of the brand. Damn. You can't say no, can I? You can't say no. Mashallah, man, but well done, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Well done. I'll hold it for you. Yo. Just trying to get to your level, Derek. Um, I, you know, you just we were just talking about Carl Froch and this whole headbutt incident. So I'll start off with that. I, I was trying to compare it to the time uh, you and David Hay had that crazy episode in Germany. Similar sort of vibe, you know, when things get heated, crazy shit happens. Uh, did you kind of remember that when this happened? No, it's totally different, man. You know, because Tyson is more chilled. You know, he's taking this is taking away from his son. You know, um, you know, if you if you if you remember what what Tyson said in one of his interviews he goes you know family my wife you know Jesus Lord is my savior you know but this is taken away from that do you understand um I don't I, I personally got on the strip I don't I don't believe in what John Fury did was the right thing you know even to, to the guy he did it he's, I don't even think that guy is over 30 30 in his 30s he's like in his 20s huh? I asked him yesterday he's 30 He's 30, exactly, so he just turned 30, so, okay. And well, how old is John Fury, 60? I think 58, I think. Yeah, exactly, so that's not fair, is it? Because remember now, if this young man turned around and spuck John Fury out, then what? Then he'd be like, oh, he'd be, a, he'd be, a, uh, be a old man. Do you understand? Yeah. But it is what it is, man. It is, at least gives you everybody head, it gives you guys headlines. It, it does, you know, it broke the internet and the numbers have been crazy since since that episode. And does that kind of transfer onto pay-per-views as well? Because I was saying to David earlier, you and David got a stadium fight out of it. Mate, bo bo boxing is a violent game. You know, I... Okay, no, listen, put it this way, yeah. Yes, we are in Saudi, yeah. But if you invite gladiators, yeah, to the Holy Land, what do you think gonna be? You think they're gonna come and pray? No, we're gonna wanna fight. We're gladiators. We fighters. You know the first, the first. You know the. I do I disagree with what John John Fury did? Yes, I do. I disagree. I don't. I, I don't think that's the right thing to do. You know, when you're not when you're not a fighter. But for the last promotion fights in Saudi, there ain't been no hit like this. Do you understand on your on your on your numbers? You know the first fight. You know. In, you know, in Ghana, it was it was a bit a bit tamed, but this one has gone mad. People people are interested about this fight now. You understand? So that's how boxing sells, man. Violence. And then you said about Carl Froch there. Do you think it's because from what I've heard, the Furies are big fans of Carl Froch. They always talk highly of him. Shane Fury says he's one of my favorite fighters, but obviously uh, he's doesn't seem to be a big fan of Tyson. But what, 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 what's happening? I don't know. What's happening with that? What has he done now? What has he said? Just the latest one, I think he said that John should be getting locked up for GBH, thuggish behaviour, kind of similar to what a lot of people have said, but obviously he's gone in quite hard. Um, They say this, you know, that. they say this, because I remember, I remember, uh, what's his name? Um. I remember when I had a little mess up with, with David Hay, you know, Johnny Nelson, Adam Smith, in the come out and say, oh, embarrassing for boxing, she be banned, life banned, they should strip him for this. They say this because they feel they're entitled to save these things. Do you understand? This is why they feel that they, you know, I'm on front of the camera, I should say the right things. But no one wants to hear the right things anymore. Violence sells more than the good that's got on the truth how many videos do you see of people videoing or other people fighting Fucking the internet's full of them it's full of them when did you ever see a video of somebody going in his pocket giving someone like 500 pounds for to pay his rent very rare very rare so it's about violence people are like violence negativity sells that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. That's why, that's why I tell everybody now. We live in a world of violence now. If you're not ready for your violence, bro, you need to start getting ready, man. I'm training my kids to be violent now. None of that good stuff. None of our place is like, can I have this now? It's violent. Bro, we're really going to be, in the next 10 years, it's going to be violence all over the place. So we live in an era of violence now. This is it. We've seen from Tyson, he's been quite uh, friendly towards uh, Usyk. He's been saying he's the best fighter he's fought. Change of stance from what we've seen in the initial press conference. Uh, why do you think that is? 
He said he's the best fighter he's ever fought. He hasn't fought him yet. So what is he talking well, about? Best fight he's about to face, basically. But, uh, I don't believe that. I believe that. I wish he says that after the fight. And Corona is just nothing. Um, I know you've given a few different predictions. But what do you want to leave for me for this fight? What do I want to leave for you on this fight? DQ. Um, you said DQ yet? What's DQ? Disqualified. Do I see a disqualification in this fight? I'll tell you what I see, yeah. They'll take a point of Tyson, yeah. Yusuf will go on the canvas. Uh, and the fight will be Abandoned. No, 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 no. I find the right word for this. Would be. Fuck it, someone's getting knocked out. <laughs> Fuck it, someone's getting knocked out. <laughs>